This is a pre-made 30 gigabyte retro bat build for your PC. This is running off an of emulation station and it has a lot of pros and some cons. Um, this particular build is made from someone who speaks French, so there are some little caveats here. And while this could be a good starter image, if anything, this video is just cool to check out RetroBat as a front end as a whole, checking out the themes and the games and how easy it is to, you know, um, you know, make certain games run off of certain emulators and just a lot of really easy programming here for emulation front end. But um, as far as the image, you'll see as we go through the image, it definitely has its pros and cons. But RetroBat as a whole is pretty darn cool. So let's go ahead and jump into the image, how I changed the language, fix it up, themes, did some gameplay, and uh, this should give you a good uh, overview of it. This is some... Wow, you had to go to advanced settings to get to to the freaking thing. Okay, now we have. All right, so what do we have here? We've got a lot. Damn, got on the dolphin. Start select as you add there. So some nice Atomus Wave games here. And you can see the difference between the Raspberry Pi and a PC of how faster it is. Got some airline pilot simulators, some bust a move, some street fighters. Crazy Taxi, Guilty Gear, Metal Slug, Geo, Geo Matrix. Oh, Heavy Metal, I thought if there was a Metal Slug. I was like, I'm, if there's a 3D Metal Slug game? That would be cool, or interesting to say the least. Power Stone 2. So some good uh, Tetris. Some fighters. Hey, let's, let's do it. Oh, you have to go in that first one, huh? Nice. Not bad, huh? That was not that great, but I think it might work. Oh. Boom. Okay. I like the um, the videos in between. Let's check out Mame here. You can. You should be able to hit select, yeah, and then jump to a letter. No Killer Instinct. Oh, come on. You want to get those kicks in, huh? Ooh! <laughs> How close was that?
art book. Let's try art book. And epic noir. And don't need a GPIO. Minimal next level. Let's try next level. Second mini, no simple Star Wars, nah. And we'll try video game. All right, those are downloading in the background. Ah, okay. So let's uh, try a different theme really quick. Art book. Eh, I'm not a huge fan. I didn't. We never looked at Tron from the when you get into a system. That's pretty cool. Epic Noir. Ooh, that's pretty cool. That's actually really cool. And then when you go into a system. Quite a long fade though between the video snaps. There's the one that comes stock with this theme next level. Ah, that, that's cool. Yeah, go with next level, that one's cool. And then there was the one last one, video game. Ooh, we've seen this before. It's a cool one though. Okay, um, so to address his problem, when you go to MAME, some of these games don't work. So, for example, there's a game, oh, I want to play Mortal Kombat and didn't work. Okay, so see, like, that one doesn't work, so you got to go to Emulator Settings, MAME. And then I guess you got to change the core. Let's try MAME 2016 on this one. Okay, now it's working. Oh, was it working? See, and that yet that works on this one. Okay, so you might have to mess around with those MAME emulators. The fire burns, huh? Come on, buddy. Ooh. Ooh, get off me. Ooh, do not time that right. All right, so there you have it, Retrobat, 30 gigabyte build, really just your basic consoles, but it does have a good Naomi and a Thomas Wave collection. No Nintendo 64 and not a ton of MAME games, but a good collection. It's actually only 1,700 games. Now, that being said, this could be a good starting point for your Retrobat experience. You know, get this installed, and then you can throw on additional ROMs very easily. He does have little favorites. You can easily update and download new things, and it's running on a PC. So a lot of you have even an older laptop or even like a Dell Optiplex, something like that. It's going to run a lot of these games just fine. Um, you can easily add PSP and even up to Wii and, Dream and uh, GameCube. 
Um, regular Dreamcast games, Nintendo 64, all that's really easily added. Um, overall, I'll give The Simmons like a B. It's not really ideal. There's The main set isn't really set up. Um, it's in French to begin with. So you're going to have to get over those hurdles. Once you get over those hurdles, though, you'll notice you know, I can pretty much get into most games. The other thing is with that MAME set, that MAME arcade set is not, in my opinion, well made over. Um, but uh, other than that, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's got some good games on it. It's got easily add themes. Mm, see, this is a translation version of... Donkey Kong. So that's another issue I'm finding too. Some of these, some of the games are actually in French as well. So if you speak French, there's got to be an A image. If you speak English, some of that stuff might bug you. And so it might actually be a C even for some of you. But that's what I think. Let me know what y'all think. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll catch you on the next one.